you, sir. You looked... Must uh, have been a few others better than that, I'm sure. Well, I very much doubt it in the context of the game and of the tour, but you looked as though you were a man in a hurry out there today. Well, it's nice to get things finished, isn't it? Get, get things settled and get them over and done with. That's, uh, uh, that's a pretty good philosophy to have. Now, you must feel at the moment, or I, this is my own interpretation of it, you might just tell us if you feel this way, you must feel that you've got the wood on these Australian batsmen at the moment. They're not playing you very confidently. Well, at the moment, obviously, the way things are going, um, I've had a, f a fair amount of luck, you know, things have gone my way, which I'm very pleased about. It's and, a very, but, very, uh, very you know. nice way to put it. Uh, there's a certain amount of good bowling. Tell us about the, the patch at the other end. There was a spot up there from which the ball was coming up quite steeply. Yeah, there was a... Richard, I think when you whacked it in a bit, you know, you took the top off, perhaps slightly, especially towards the end when Graham McKenzie got hit. That was, you know, made a hole and it was definitely going right through the, through the top. It was, was, there, was there any time uh, during the innings where you thought you may not have won the game? You thought the Australians might have been able to battle through for a draw? No, I think, I think pretty well the odds were on our, uh, our side all the way through, especially after yesterday afternoon, I think, when we got off to a good start. I think that um, perhaps clinched things for us. I wouldn't have liked to have had to bowl a side out on it uh, in a day, let's say. Without getting some start on it. It was still good enough, you think, to be able to battle through? Um, yes, it was only this afternoon, really, or just before lunch, you know, when Graham uh, got hit. And uh, another ball afterwards, which Johnny Gleeson got, which um, went through the top, really, when it started to go, I'd have thought, really, when yeah. it really went. I think we should say, you've mentioned Graham McKenzie being hit. He was hit uh, in... Uh, the eye and he's got lacerations on the eye and the nose but that was a ball that was so far up that uh, Mackenzie played forward to it and across the crease there was no thought of that being short pitched it was, it was a most legitimate delivery and a, a very very lethal one as it turned out but uh, certainly no fault attached to uh, the bowler for Mackenzie being hit. John uh, for the test match coming up in Melbourne you must have uh, tremendous confidence at the moment in much the same way I suppose as you had after bowling out the West Indies that time when you turned in a similar performance. Well, in Sabana Park, yes. thank you, yeah. yeah. I think so, yes. You know, you get going, and once you get a few wickets under your belt, obviously you feel a lot better for it, don't you? It's like what? having a good meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a, a good way to put it. What about uh, Bill Laurie's innings today? He batted right through uh, the innings to join a select band of uh, test cricketers who have done that. Well, I think Bill batted uh, very doggedly. You know, he stuck to his guns and did what he what he thought was right, which wasn't a situation to, to try and play for a draw and, and hang about and bat out. All right, Whether well, or not he had lasted the whole of the afternoon is another matter, but I think as far as he went, he batted very, very well. Good. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations again. I thought it was a wonderful bowling performance, and you must be very pleased to have bowled your side to a win and taken a lead in the series. Yeah, that's very nice, which is very comforting. Good. Thank you. Well, it was a, a wonderful win for England. They thoroughly outplayed Australia in every department of the game. The batting, they outbatted them. In the bowling, John Snow outbowled them and none of the Australians ever approached his lethal ability. And in the fielding, oddly enough, they outfielded them because Lever and Willis today took two of the great catches I've seen in Test cricket. Now, what of Australia? The selectors tonight meet to choose the Test team that is to play in Melbourne in the substituted Test. That'll be the fifth Test match. And I expect them to make some changes. Perhaps they'll only make two, it might even be three. It's been suggested out here that they should make half a dozen. Well... The Australians in the dressing room won't be very happy tonight, nor should they be, because they did.